We're at Exponential 2011. We're here with Carrie and Aaron, and they'll be planning a church in Washington, D.C. when? 2012. 2012. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your story, Aaron. How did you get to this point? <laughs> uh, okay, let's make this quick. Uh, I was a high school teacher and then a baseball coach, and then we got into youth ministry for four or five years. And then uh, one of the, the churches we were at was a church plant, uh -huh. and we fell in love with church planting at that ministry. And then uh, over the last year, we've gone through assessment, felt God really calling us into church planting, and fell in love with the city of Washington, D.C. So that's kind that's of going. long story short there. Yeah. That's great. We we talk about this assessment. It's it's a long process. Who, who assessed you? Was it your local church? Uh, it was actually uh, Stadia. It was Stadia. my first connection. That's and right. My local church connected me to them and uh, the ball got rolling from there, but they've been, my Stadia rep's been amazing, just kind of walking us through the process. And that's Doug? That that's Doug? Uh, Brent Folk, actually. Brent, okay, very Stadia. good. Yep. Okay, let's talk a little bit about what it means to be a pastor's, uh, church planner, pastor's wife. Uh, how, how did that calling come into your life? Were you a few steps ahead? Were you a few steps behind? Aaron, what did that look like? Um, I definitely think that um, he is the visionary of our family uh -huh. for sure, but you know, as early as when we started dating, we knew we wanted to be in ministry together. Uh -huh. um, I actually at the church in Arizona, or at the, the plant that we were involved with, uh -huh. I worked there as well. Oh good. Um, and so I think it's something we talked about early on, and um, and so really it was pretty organic how it worked, and, and definitely he felt the call, and I did too, mm -hmm. um, and so it just kind of kind of followed him, but kind of my own thing too. That's great. Now, you're talking about being on staff at a church that planted 14 years ago, but you were there for four years. Yeah. A lot of planters have the reputation of planting because they don't like what their senior pastor is doing, <laughs> right? I mean, that's, that's, that's what exactly you're That's exactly why I'm doing it. Exactly. <laughs> No, but it sounds like you had a very healthy relationship. Can you talk a little bit about that? Because I think it's important to yeah, players too. Yeah, definitely. See, see uh, actually, yeah, my, my first church we worked at was a church plant, and uh, our senior pastor there, his name was Trent, and he was my mentor and coach, and we still talk. Oh, I think I called him like five times last week. And we, uh, we have a great relationship, and really something we, when we started praying about planting, one thing we asked ourselves was we don't want to do this because it's cool right. or because we think we can do it better. Yeah. Uh, we really wanted to do it because we felt like God, uh, we needed to expand the kingdom and we wanted to make sure God was calling us into it and asked a lot of wise men yeah. uh, and wise women and leaders that we knew what they thought. They affirmed us and uh, we just continued praying and really felt God specifically answer that prayer. And I mean, my, Trent's been... Uh, just a phenomenal uh, mentor. Are they going to support your church, your plan? Uh, I think, think yeah. Good. He's personally actually supporting us, and then we're also talking. We're also talking to. Uh, <laughs> just lick it off. <laughs> we're also talking to our uh, to the, his church about um, partnering with us. That's great. Um, I wanted to grab you guys today at Exponential because you have a little Sutter here. Yeah. So here you are. You're probably going to do the most difficult thing any man could do is plant a church or family yeah. can do. Man <laughs> And you have little ones. Talk a little bit about that. I mean, that's you thought about the sacrifice that would mean to your family. Can you kind yeah. of can you speak a little bit toward that? You know, though? I think early on, um, I was researching blogs online from church planters, and I, I stumbled upon one, churchplantingwives.com, and oh, good. It, it had a. Um, uh, Jennifer Antucci <coughs> had her own blog and she talked specifically about moving to Las Vegas and planting there and she had kids I think they were like middle school age and you know she got a lot of flack for that right. um, and she you know really prayed about it and I remember I, she said something about talking to a woman who said you know Jennifer if, if you really feel called to be in Las Vegas and you really feel like that's where God wants you then um, the Lord is calling your kids as well yeah and so we feel like here we are moving to Washington, D.C., far away from our family, far away from the grandparents, um, which is not something that's totally new to us, but it's hard. Right. Um, but we both feel like we want our kids to be raised serving and yeah. to, to feel like they are uh, they naturally want to be missionaries to our culture and our society as well. Great. So if people wanted to follow up with you and kind of watch as you're going, you don't have a church name yet or, or a website, which is right, uh, you yeah. don't have that yet. Well, right. we, we kind we of do name, have, a, but we have a, we have a church name, but our website right now is kind of in our family blog. That's great. What is that? Uh, people, can, sure. can people follow up sure. with you there? Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah it's um, lifeasathomas.com. T H O M A S. Right. Lifeasathomas.com. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, thank you all so much for your yeah. time today. Yeah, I appreciate thanks. you taking time great. to do this. Yeah, no great. Thanks.